Uh, the big commercial record, <laughs> believe it or not, our first commercial artist was Archie Lee. The first, uh, the first uh, uh, commercial uh, record was uh, Archie Lee, right? And um, uh, and then uh, like for us, who we put out first, uh, the first solo artist that was on a major for us was Mike Jones. Yeah, you know, at that point, everybody else had their own deals. Like everybody else was like, you know, Slim was on his own deal. Paul Waller Comedian, and them, that was on their own deal, you know. Like like uh Slim was on Interscope, uh Paul Wall was on um and uh, Paul Wall ended up releasing the record with Paul Wall was with Mad Hatter, Paul Wall yeah. and Comedian was with Mad Hatter. Yep. And um uh who else was there? Uh then uh Comedian now he, he he put his shit out on um uh why do I want to say jive? jive? I was going to say jive not too. Jive. No, not jive. Uh, why could I think of these people, man? They they they're big. Um, that's crazy. I can't I, I can't, I I can't think of the label too, for shit. You know what I mean? I thought it was jive too. The, Mike really kicked open the door. He really kicked for the switch song, I thought that song was Slim Thug song. No, well, that was a tipping is Mike Jones. Still tip. No, let me tell you. This. Still tipping was a Swisher House group song. It was on the Day Hell Broke Loose too. We flipped it for a single for Mike Jones. God. Because the song was, uh, before Mike Jones even put his album together, right, I flipped that. Well, we flipped that for a single for him because the, the song was already so hot yeah. on the street. I always thought, I don't know why I always thought that was Slim Thug's song. That's because he leads it. It wasn't, a, it was just a Swish House group song, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. It wasn't nobody's really particular single at all, yeah. you know. That motherfucker was so goddamn hard, even to this day. I think when you t motherfucking uh, classic H time record songs, that hoe is okay. Mind playing tricks. You got to put that hoe up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, mind, it's, playing, it's, mind playing tricks, it's still, still tipping, tipping and want to be a baller. The three biggest songs. From a male artist from Houston, unless you want to talk you know, about Beyonce. I got to say, those three songs are the three biggest H Town records that was uh, big outside of Texas. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like some records, they were big out here, but they was big in the southern region. Yeah. Yeah. And I think then, it. then but, but, okay, yeah, yeah. You, you talking, about, talking about like big outside of Texas and it being like cultural driven. I would, yeah, I would say. You know what I'm saying? Cause you had shit to come out of, you know what I'm saying? Chameleon, that shit. His shit was so fucking big, like the Sound of Revenge shit and the record that he had, the Riding Dirty. You know what I'm saying? But that was like more of a. But that's like a. But you talking about things that are a product of being Swisher House, not actually Swisher House. Like Riding right. Rod, Dirty wasn't on Swisher House label. Right, right, right. Chameleon now came from Swisher House, therefore he made it to that level. But as far as Swisher House's success. Mike Jones was yeah the steel the steel, steel tipping tip. yeah was all them boys 